in the previous year in March, I was diagnosed with stones that were on my gallbladder, and which caused me to be referred to an operation. I was operated on the 12th of November. The operation was not successful. It caused me to undergo a second operation. That is now the second time and the third time again. When I was discharged from the hospital, I was brought to this ministry. I went back to Utapi and waited for my first follow-up with the doctor. The doctor told me I should see him the next day, that would be the 14th of December. When I went to the doctor, he first did examinations. And when the doctor did his examinations, he discovered that everything is fine with me and everything is in its place and he's going to remove the pipes from me. Your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. This one, you can have it, but you'll see now the way you are. Amen. Amen. You'll see now the way you are. I want 
I want to do, I want to prove to you. Do like this. I want to prove to you. Let the vehicle just move free. Yes. Touch your feet. Yes, touch your feet. Don't worry, just touch your feet. Yes. Yes. Straight. Where is the thing? Yeah? Nothing. People, they can't hear you. Nothing. Look <laughs> now, I want to see you. Look at me, look at me. I said, I want to see you moving your figures like this, like somebody who is already free, free from you. Yeah, move now. Move. I want to see the figures now, the way you see them. Yeah. Tell us your name, where you came from, and what the Lord Almighty has done for you in this place. Meme, tulo kwa letina loe, apa waja, de nashi kalunga mengonu waki shepu ningila mwone lomu. Edina nia njongai, Hileni Nilenge, kukuzaku Utapi. My name is Hileni Nilenge, from Utapi. Onde ya kusima nenge, edina nia tatika runga shaa elula nge. I'm here to honor God the Father for healing me after passing through illness and, and then I got healed. That is through his servant Apostle Shombe. In the previous year in March, I was diagnosed with stones that were on my gallbladder. And which caused me to be referred to an operation. I was operated on the 12th of November. The operation was not successful. It caused me to undergo a second operation. That is now the second time and the third time again. When I was discharged from the hospital, I was brought to this ministry. When I was prayed for by the servant of God, he, say, he, de he declared that I'm healed, and I believe that I was healed. From there on, I returned to, uh, to church again that week, on Saturday and on Sunday. I went back to Utapi and waited for my first follow-up with the doctor. It was scheduled for the 19th of December in 2022. And I, I no longer waited for the 19th of December because the pipes that I was having were not depositing anything into the sack that I kept carrying around. I therefore called the doctor and told him about it. The doctor told me I should see him the next day, that would be the 14th of December. When I went to the doctor, he first did examinations. 
izemo yamako na kunoshiga zimo ya doctor kwa mwono kutia keshe shimo shiri na wa ini mwaya ya penyele upaipi ote uko zange au ya uluweari and when the doctor did his examinations he discovered that everything is fine with me and everything is in its place and he's going to remove the pipes from me your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ upaipi mbunda indi no kukala nao ulewe simbongi karika lelitike pe mwedi zilindato wako samo mwule o mwedi umwe the pipes that I was supposed to be caring for about the pipes that I was supposed to be carrying around for a period of about three months were removed within a period of a month. And I really thank God the Father. He has healed me. And I truly thank him. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. We can see that he's quite joyful. Our sister is saying she really thanked God the Father because she doesn't know in what trouble she could have been in by now. So, ma'am, from November, since uh, after prayers, Till today, what are the things you can now do very well compared to those months that you went through operation that you are not doing? She said she was on a restricted diet. There were things that she could neither eat nor drink. But now she can do that. Can we just specify what are those types of food? All the food that are causing gas. And all the drinks that will stimulate gas, she could not take any of them. So now, are you? Can you take them for now? If we give you a good drink today, she said she can now drink. She said she can now drink anything that she desires to drink. She no longer feels any pain in her body. Hallelujah! Your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. We can see she's even looking more younger and beautiful. Better than the way she was looking on the video. Can you confirm that? Shall we just continue rejoicing in the Lord for the renewal of our body as well? We just want you to demonstrate now that you are, you, you are now able to drink a cool drink. So you were given a cool drink. Shall we just see that the Lord indeed has healed you and you are now able to eat every kind of food? Hallelujah! Are you not seeing that? Hallelujah, we give glory to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The healer of all diseases. The one who can heal and take away every predicament. Just look at the restoration before you today. Hallelujah. Amen. So, ma'am, now that the Lord Jesus Christ has healed you, he has restored your health. So, what are the words of encouragement that you may tell the people watching you and those that have seen you before and now they are looking at you, looking so refreshed? Hallelujah. 
our sister is encouraging them that you should come to the cross of Jesus Christ, that there is nothing impossible to Jesus Christ. Whatsoever we are passing through, even illness, he can heal any illness.